Alright guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. About a year or so ago I did a video called the thousand dollar challenge which many of you will remember. We had a thousand dollars to spend and what snakes would I buy, what projects would I get into with that thousand dollars. Today we've got a little bit more money to spend. We have five thousand dollars. But before we get into that a big shout out to 4S Pythons who actually contacted me. They had actually bought the spot nose het for clown male that I featured in that thousand dollar challenge. And they sent me a picture because it's being paired to a female leopard het for clown. So fingers crossed guys, hope you get the Batman that you're trying for there. Uh, that was exactly the project that I envisaged. But what an awesome story to actually be contacted by a subscriber who bought a snake and got into the project. And here we are a year and a half later with them sending me pictures of the snake being paired up. Okay, so $5,000, definitely not the big league in terms of ball python prices, but $5,000 is getting to be a serious investment. So I'm going to make a few assumptions here that this is not a first time snake that we're talking about at $5,000 being spent by an established breeder and actually I did purchase the snakes that I'm going to recommend. Two years ago uh, we imported along with ARP some snakes from uh, Kinova and I'm going to take a look at those snakes that we bought. So the first snake is going to be orientated snake. Everybody is going to be different and everybody is going to have different projects. So the snake that I bought may not necessarily suit you guys. But I'm recommending that you spend uh, some portion of this $5,000 on a project orientated snake. You're going to have to be very specific. It's going to have to suit your project and it's going to have to be a good fit. So don't buy the first snake that you come across. Make sure that it is a good fit for your project. So in my particular case, two years ago, I bought a red stripe clown female. And two years ago, that pretty much swallowed up all of the $5,000 budget. Let's take a look at her. She's now uh, three years old and is being bred again this season. Uh, so we're hopeful again this year that uh, we are going to actually further those projects. So here is the Red Stripe Clown female. Uh, she is well up to size now, big girl. And in and of itself, the Red Stripe Clown is not particularly spectacular. It's a little bit more reddish or rusty or coppery colour than a standard clown, but doesn't look that much different to a standard clown. I bought this female and they were like gold dust two years ago as part of the Pompeii project. The red stripe was an ingredient that we did not have in the project and I bought this girl in and spent the best part of the $5,000 budget on this single snake. Today, two years later, if you want to buy the same snake, you can get it for about half the price. Um, they are still expensive and that's why I say this is a project orientated snake. It is going into my Pompeii project and it was a very specific snake that we needed for that project. If your projects differ, you may want to buy a different snake. But again, if you buy a hatchling today for something that was popular a year, a year and a half ago, you can pick up a hatchling for a much lower price. So that is the Red Stripe Clown. Uh, you may want to look at different projects, uh, make sure that it's a good fit for your project. If you want to buy a Red Stripe Clown now with extra genes in it, which are available today, that will also still swallow up a large part of your $5,000 budget. So I have looked on Morph Market and priced a straight Red Stripe Clown female for $2,000. The next snakes that I purchased were an entirely new project and I bought a pair, a male and a female, and it's Desert Ghost. Let's take a look at those snakes that I bought. Again, they are now two years old. 
The male that I bought is already producing hets for me, uh, which are growing on quite nicely, some of them almost a year old now. So you are now able to buy both a red stripe clown or a project snake and a pair of desert ghost snakes for that five thousand dollars two years ago it was an either or i could either get the red stripe clown or i could get a pair of desert ghosts or i could pay ten thousand dollars and buy all three but basically they are half the price that they were two years ago so here are the desert ghosts that i bought and I would recommend anybody, any breeder that does not have Desert Ghost in their collections to look seriously at getting into Desert Ghost. It's not too late. Your males can be producing hets within the year. Uh, but I think the way that the industry is going now with multiple recessive projects, Desert Ghost is a particularly important one because it makes everything look better. And it won't be too long before all the common morphs that we're accustomed to are going to be available in Desert Ghost form. And if you do not have Desert Ghost in your collections, you will not be able to compete. Desert Ghost is going to be essential for any number of years to come in the ball python industry. And so the snakes are going to hold their value or even increase in value. So of course the male desert ghost that I purchased two years ago was this guy. You've all seen him before, the leopard lemon blast desert ghost. And you've all seen what a fantastic difference it makes to the colour of this snake just having desert ghost in it. I think it's particularly important to have a male uh, because you can obviously make lots of hets with this guy. We are going to buy a female as well so that we can make visual desert ghosts from an economic perspective. If we can make visual desert ghosts and sell them, that finances the whole project. So we have a male desert ghost. He is not het for anything. And two years ago, the price that I paid for this guy with the female would have swallowed up our $5,000. Two years later, not anymore. If you carefully choose your desert ghost male on morph market you can pick up a het um, a desert ghost het for clown will not break the budget they are available and that would be a sensible addition to the project especially if you can get a het in your female as well so here's the male this is the male that we bought there are examples on morph market there are a couple um, he is leopard he is pastel pastel being particularly nice in Desert Ghost and he's also Pinstripe. Pinstripe is a pretty common morph in Desert Ghost. Pinstripe looks really nice in Desert Ghost uh, so this guy did come with Pinstripe but there's only a 50-50 chance of him passing on that Pinstripe so uh, again a useful male and not all of his offspring will be Pinstripes if we don't want to go that route. So that's the male Desert Ghost that I bought for the project. Now, the female that I bought, I looked online, she is now nearly three years old and will be bred this season, but I looked online to see what it would cost you to buy a 2019 female, about the same age as the one that I have, so you save yourself the growing on process, you're buying a mature female Desert Ghost. That would swallow up all of your budget. Uh, it would cost you $5,000, so I'm recommending that you do shop around by decent quality, but you will be able to get a male and a female with some extra genes and possibly even a het thrown in, maybe a het for clown. You should be able to get those for about three, three and a half thousand dollars. So in total, you will buy a project snake, a female, and you will buy a pair of desert ghosts. Now, if you already have desert ghost in your collection, then you may want to look at some of the more uh, recent genes um, certainly for me that would be uh, Wookie, Chocolate, uh, Monsoon for instance, Puzzle. You may want to buy a pair of snakes um, to get into that project or certainly a male at least to start making your hets. But if you're not into Desert Ghost, uh, you need to get into Desert Ghost and that's why I'm recommending that we buy a pair of Desert Ghosts.
So this is the yellow belly desert ghost female that we bought two years ago and yes we could buy her for a cheaper price today if I was to buy the same hatchling but the advantage is that this girl is almost three years old and she's almost up to breeding size so I gave myself a head start by paying a little bit extra two years ago. Let's just take a look at her. She is extraordinarily bright, not like a normal yellow belly, except that she does have exactly the same yellow belly markers. She does have exactly the same flames and blushing up the side. And she does have exactly the same yellow belly head stamp. It's just that the whole thing has been amped up several notches in brightness. Now this girl really is stunningly clean and bright. Let me just zoom out a little bit since she's moving now so you can get a look. Again, uh, you can see the yellow belly does actually modify the pattern slightly. But the expression of all these genes in Desert Ghost... Um, we look for the same markers, but they're expressed a little bit differently. Brighter, higher contrast, much cleaner animals with desert ghosts. So in effect, you will have to relearn, and I will have to relearn, all of the typical genetic markers once we get them into desert ghosts. And we will see when I start producing my first desert ghosts how that pans out and how easy it is. But you can see from this girl that she is still recognisable as a yellow belly, even though she is desert ghost. Much brighter, cleaner, lighter coloured animal than you would expect, but still with the same classic yellow belly marker. So this is the yellow belly desert ghost female that we bought using that hypothetical $5,000 that we have to play with today. And yes, you could get this snake today for a lower price and possibly even buy this female with a head and still get it for the same price that we paid. You could get Het Clown, Het Hypo, Het Pied, whatever your double recessive project is. So two years ago we did pay a little more for this girl but she's up to size and will be breeding. The snake that you buy today will be two years so I've got a head start. Yellow Belly, Desert Ghost, female. Now, just a quick word for uh, some of my subscribers out here in this part of the world. The market is growing and there's a demand for high quality snakes that is ever increasing. And I've noticed recently that there are many breeders or dealers who are offering consignments. Uh, in particular, I saw one recently from uh, Justin. And what happens there is that uh, a breeder will contact Justin. He will put together a consignment of snakes basically you can buy an individual snake from Justin the dealer here will arrange the shipment of all that snakes as part of a consignment so it makes it worth it for Justin and it makes it worth it for you guys out here it makes it cost-effective to buy an individual snake there is obviously a lot of benefit to having snakes that is descended from Kinova stock it's a great selling point but one thing that I would say to you guys out here locally is support your local breeders. If you are going to bring a snake in from the US, make sure that you get maximum bang for the buck. Don't buy a snake that you could buy locally. This is a plug for local breeders, not just for ARP. There are a lot of people out here producing quality snakes and for instance, a lot of nice orange dream combos like the Iron Man for instance.
are rivals for anything produced internationally and I think it would be a little bit of a waste if you bought a snake from Kinova that's available here of equal quality. So my message there is make sure that you get maximum value for your dollar when you import snakes from the US and please 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 support your local breeders. Don't buy a snake that's available here. If you buy a snake from Kinova, you will not be able to haggle over the price. The price will be fixed and you will pay a premium to import it. If you buy from a local dealer, it does give you the opportunity to get the snake without the shipping costs, equal quality, and perhaps even you could haggle a little bit over the price. I know you guys like to do that. So support your local breeder. There we go guys, that's the $5,000 challenge. So we bought a project snake, in my case it's a female red striped clown, and we bought two desert ghosts to get us into the desert ghost project. We bought a male, which will be ready inside of a year, and you can start producing hets immediately. And we bought a female visual, which you can use to produce visual desert ghosts and sell the surplus stock, because that will fund the entire project. If you start producing visual desert ghosts, they will be worth good money to other breeders who do not yet have desert ghost. So you will pay for the project as you go along, which I know is another important factor for a lot of you guys. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.